Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Sunday, April 7th, 2019. There's a story, gang, that I wanted to share with you. Mysterious drug-resistant germ deemed an urgent threat is quietly sweeping the globe. Thanks to the overprescription of antimicrobial drugs and the use of antifungicides in crop production, a relatively new germ that preys on people with weakened immune systems is rapidly spreading across the globe, according to the New York Times. And it says here, the infection, a fungus known as Candida auris, kills almost half the patients who come into contact with it within 90 days, according to the CDC. Uh, as it's impervious to most major antifungal medications, the fir uh, first described in 2009 after a 70-year-old uh, Japanese woman showed up at a Tokyo hospital with C. auris in her ear canal. Uh, the aggressive yeast infection has spread across Asia and Europe, arriving in the U.S. by 2016. Um, let me give you a little bit more. Uh, the, the weird thing is, is they don't know how to stop it. Um, it's the creature from the La Black Lagoon, says CDC's Dr. Tom Chiller, who heads up the fungal branch. It bubbled up and now it's everywhere. In the last five years alone, it has swept through the hosp a hospital in Spain. Um, hit a um, neonatal unit in Venezuela, spread throughout India, Pakistan, and South America, and has forced a prestigious British medical center to uh, close its ICU for nearly two weeks. And uh, that is because they found it everywhere in the room where a, a man infected with it was. And it was everywhere. They had to literally even take it out the drywall, put a new drywall. Um... I don't know a whole lot about why they can't stop this. I am not a doctor, um, but this is very concerning. Um, let me go back here to the top here. Kills almost half the patients who come into contact with it within 90 days. That means it has a 50%, roughly a 50% mortality rate. That's scary. Um, things like that are reserved for like Ebola, um, AIDS, you know, a Hanta virus, yellow fever. Um, so something that's spreading rapidly, and it's going across the globe right now, has the same basic mortality rate. So what do you do if, you know, they're not fighting it? And that's another thing, too. Um, they don't talk about it very much, which is really weird. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to put my conspiracy theory hat on on this one because I just don't know enough about it yet. But it... it I'm going to say, you know, it, it, it goes after a compromised immune system. The healthier you are, the better prepared you are to, if you get infected with this thing, you, you might have a minor cold and then you're better again because your immune system dealt with it. If your immune system can't deal with it, um, science apparently doesn't have anything that's very effective to deal with this. And like I said, it's spreading rapidly. It's everywhere. Um, so, you know, I could say, you know, something like this is biblical, but you could say that about Ebola. You could say that about AIDS. Um, so just be aware of this, gang. Um, take your vitamins. Eat right. Very important. Um, keep your immune system built. Um, don't, let it, uh, don't let it slide. You know, a really good immune system can battle cancer. So, I mean, just so you guys know that, it is worth it to eat right and to make sure you take supplements. You cannot get all the vitamins and minerals you need just by eating right. It's impossible. Uh, even the Senate knew this back in the 1920s. The U.S. Senate knew this. They knew that there was depletion in the soils of all the major uh, minerals that plants pull out of the soils. So you have to supplement. So that would be my advice to you on this stuff. Um, this is actually... Um, uh, interesting and scary at the same time because we've had it here since 2016 in the United States and this is the first time I'm hearing about this one. Um, so the CDC decided to keep it quiet for whatever reason, usually, you know, because they have something to do with it. You know, like I said, that's a conspiracy theory hat. Um, but uh, guys, be careful out there. Like I said, you know, build up your immune systems. And as far as, you know, taking vitamins, um, that's another thing I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on, even though I'm not a doctor. Uh, most doctors don't, you know, tell people to take vitamins and minerals, but they say you can get it all in your food, but that's not true. It's simply not true. Um, 
natural vitamins and uh, minerals can be synthesized as well. Um, natural, all, all in one pill, doesn't really exist. Um, so if you have your one a day or whatever, you know, multivitamin, um, the ones that I take actually come from a company called Puritan's Pride. It's called Green Source. And uh, you have to take three of them a day, three giant green horse pills to get, you know, 100% of all your vitamins and minerals. That's because uh, they're not synthetic. They are natural. And uh, natural is much better for you, and you can't overdose on natural. You can overdose on synthetic. Also, uh, natural is much more assimilable than synthetic is. So you need less of it for more assimilation, despite the fact that you're taking, you know, three tablets or pills, whatever you want to call it, as opposed to one tiny pill that you would get, you know, at, let's just say, for, for instance, Walmart. So, uh, I, you know, and we have a lot of people in, in uh, Truth, Money, and Freedom that are very much on, up on nutrition. Um, I am not, you know, you know, an expert in this arena, but I do know natural is much better than synthetic. So be sure to do your, your research on this when you guys choose, you know, which vitamin and mineral supplements you're going to go on. And, uh, you know, just be careful out there. And it, once again, apparently, once you have this, it takes about 90 days before it really gets aggravated and actually is lethal to some people with compromised immune systems. So you may not even know you have it, you know, for quite a while, three months, until symptoms show up. So just keep your immune systems built, and that's all you can do. Um, but at any rate, I just wanted to share this story with you guys. And I will link it below, like I always do. Thank you for spending a few minutes with Truth, Money, and Freedom. We appreciate all of you. Thank you for uh, all the comments you leave as well. Those are much appreciated. You guys take care. God bless. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.